Hello, my name is Atul Mehta and this is a tutorial that is designed to help you understand how you can narrow your topic. When you're narrowing a topic, it is good to understand what your topic is first. You can brainstorm ideas in a number of ways. You can bounce ideas off of family and friends. Sometimes they give you different opinions, uh, different ideas that can lead you down different paths. So going from a broad topic to a small topic helps to talk about the broader issue and then consider the other ones. Also remember that you can always brainstorm, you can do a spider graph, you can write down ideas, or you can free write. There are a number of ways to brainstorm that can help you understand more about your topic. If you do some free writing and you keep going back to certain parts of the topic, maybe that's what you should go further into. Another way in which you can narrow your topic is to look at and read some encyclopedia articles such as Wikipedia, Encyclopedia Britannica, also reference databases such as Gale Virtual Reference Library and Oxford Reference Online helps you find articles about a topic and they will generally tell you about different aspects of a topic. Also you can learn different aspects of the issues so that's why it's useful to go to uh, encyclopedia or reference databases. So encyclopedia articles also help you understand the background of an issue. I like to think that college professors want their students to understand the basic information regarding an issue. They don't want you to write a report, they want you to write an analysis with a thesis. So understanding the background of an issue can help you get jump started into that issue and understand where to go from there. Also you can identify keywords within an encyclopedia article that will be useful when it comes to searching for articles in the databases. So let's talk about three general tips for narrowing your topic. This can apply to just about any projects you are doing, whether it's at the graduate level or the undergraduate level. Tip number one, you can always narrow down a topic by time or time period. So you see that I've got pictures of people in the 60s or 50s and I've got pictures of Stone Age, pictures of Victorian Age. So time periods can be centuries, decades or even just the last few years. Tip number two. You can narrow down a topic by location. You can say rural or urban. You can narrow it down to a community, to a city. You can go global. You can make it really broad. But when you're narrowing a topic, obviously you can narrow it down to specific countries or localities. Tip number three. You can narrow things by group of people such as education level or economic status or age, gender or race. So these are all the ways in which you can do that. Also you can narrow it down to teenagers, you can narrow it down to seniors or you can narrow it down to American people, you can narrow it down to all different types of people. So just remember that if you get in a jam, you can always consult your instructors, your advisors, your classmates, and you can get some advice for narrowing down a topic. So there's a lot of people you can talk to. You can even talk to the librarians and we'll be glad to talk to you about different ways to narrow down the topic. So this concludes our tutorial and I'd like to say thank you for watching this.